Hey friends, it's Eric and today we're going to be checking out the Pluggable 4K docking station. For full disclosure, they did give me a significant discount, but I do have my own money in this also because I definitely need this for my computer. It's really cool. It allows you to plug it one device into your MacBook um, or other computers and add up to three additional monitors. Wow. So I'm just using two additional monitors, but if you needed three additional monitors, you can definitely do that with this bad boy. So, so today I'm going to tell you three things that you're going to want to know about this before you decide to buy it or not. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to know is, does this work with your computer? There is a list of compatible devices, but I highly recommend that you check out the dock finder. It'll ask you what type of device that you have, if it's a window or Mac or Chrome OS, um, what operating system it works on and so on and so on. On and it can re make a recommendation on what pluggable device to get for your setup. Now, I originally bought this for a old, uh, what do you call it, old, it's like 2017. It's 2017 old, <laughs> I guess in the computer world it is, but it's a Intel-based iMac. Unfortunately, I could not get it to work with that, and that's how I found out about this dock finder. Um, so definitely use that dock finder so you buy the right pluggable docking station. But luckily, I had a M1 MacBook also that I wanted to have additional monitors on, and that is what I'm using this particular one on. Now, the M1, this is a first-generation M1 MacBook. And this is the second thing that you're going to need to know, by the way, is that you will have to download the Display Link software. The M1s and I think the M2s can only um, support one or two monitors. So with the Display Link driver and software, you can add additional monitors. Um, it's really easy. It took less than a minute to install it and turned right on, turned the other monitor and it registered as a additional monitor right there in the operating system. And now for the third thing that you need to know, and the only con that I have with this is that there's two USB-C ports. One of them is a power delivery port. Um, only one of those you can plug into your computer um, is like the input. So that is the one in the back is where you're going to want to plug in computer. But if you have a MacBook, a lot of times you want to plug in through the front. But the plug in the front is only for power. Um, it's not for the data. It's not for the uh, monitor. So that's your PD um, USB-C in the front. And then the back is where you plug in your monitor. So just FYI, it's not a huge deal. I, as you can see here, I just have my wire running around. Um, I noticed on additional pluggable, the uh, monitor plug-in is in the front, um, <laughs> but I actually need it in the back in that setup. So it's going to vary depending on your personal setup. But just wanted to let you know that it might be in the wrong um, ideal placement of where you want to plug in your monitor. Um, but this particular unit, you do have to plug it in the back um, for your monitor or for your computers. And then everything else is plugged in the back, all your HDMI cables, um, your USB-A ports, your Ethernet. Um, and then on front is where you have the SD card slots and the microphone and headphone jacks. So all in all, I give this a two thumbs up if you're looking to expand your monitor setup from one monitor up to four total. So you can add three additional monitors, no matter if it's an HDMI or a display port, um, you can definitely add more monitors and it's awesome. It's such a a different world having multiple monitors and i highly recommend this hope this video was helpful i will see you guys on the next one thanks for watching